In this episode, I want to follow up with the um, the heap and uh, discuss the add method as well as the remove method. So here is um, here is our heap um, represented here as a tree as well as in the array. And what I want to be able to do is add uh, a number to this. Um, so let's take a look at the algorithm here. So what the algorithm says is that you place the new element that you're adding into the first available location in the tree. So remember we have to maintain this property that everything is leftmost as possible. Uh, well, first of all, each of the levels is full uh, except for the, the deepest level, which um, in which case we add things to uh, as far left as possible. Okay, so for instance, if I am going to add the number third, and then, okay, so let me back up, okay, so we add the element to the first available location, and then the second step is to um, check the following property. So while uh, the element that you've added has a priority greater than the parent, so the value is greater than the parent, then you're going to swap the element with the parent. Okay, so if I'm going to add uh, 30 to this tree, uh, my original tree, then I'm going to first add it uh, at the bottom here, um, as shown in this tree, at the bottom and to the left uh, of 21. And then I'm going to uh, um, check to see whether or not it has priority greater than its parent, and if it does, then I'm going to go ahead and swap it with its parent. So in this case, 30 is greater than 21, so the second step then would be to swap 30 with 21. And what this is called is, is heapify, uh, or heapifying upwards. So uh, when you add something to the tree, uh, you uh, basically check to see whether or not it's greater than its parent, and then this thing will just basically bubble up all the way to the root if it is the greatest element in the tree. All right, so uh, when we do this, uh, what we end up getting is an array representation that initially looks like uh, array A here, where the element is added to the end of the, uh, of the array. And then you check to see, its, to see whether or not its parent is greater than it. So in this case, uh, the parent, and actually with all heaps, the parent is at, at the floor of of the location minus 1 divided by 2. So if we look here, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So uh, the floor of 9 minus 1 over 2 is 4. So we go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the parent of this node here. And then uh, you compare 21 with 30. 30 is greater than 21, so then you swap it. Uh, so what you end up getting then is uh, the tree or the heap that's shown here on the right. Now the remove uh, method uh, is uh, essentially um, a two-step process where basically you take the element from the root and return that uh, and then you do a heapify of the um, of the heap downwards from the root. So what happens is that you want to remove that, uh, that element, the item with the highest priority, priority from the root, and then you swap that, uh, you take the last element that's in the tree and you put it at the root and then you, you, you do this heapify downwards. So let's take a look at the algorithm. So it basically says here to copy the root to the return variable, move the last element of the array to uh, to index 0 or to the root. And then while that element has priority uh, that's less than one of its children, uh, you're going to swap that element with the highest priority child. And then you continue to do this, um, you continue to swap this, um, this element out with its highest priority child until you, do not longer, you no longer have that property maintained. And then finally, you return the value that you copied from step one. Okay, so here is an example. Uh, so let's say that we were going to remove element 45 from this tree. So what we're going to initially do is copy 
uh, copy 45 uh, to whatever we're going to return, and then take the last element in the tree and copy it up to the root. And then we're going to go through this operation of checking to see whether or not this new root element is greater than its children. If not, we're going to swap it with its greatest child. So in this case, 21 will be swapped with 35, and then, and then we'll, we iterate on this again. So we compare 21 with its children, and again, it is less than its two children, so we swap it with the greater of the two. In this case, it's 30. And so what we end up with is this, uh, this heap that looks like the tree drawn here, as well as um, the, the representation here with the, uh, the array. So basically, uh, those are the two major operations for this. You could, you could obviously do other things like you know, remove elements directly from various other locations in the tree. You don't have to remove you know, sort of the root. Uh, and, but if you do remove something from the tree, then you're going to do basically the same operation of, of taking the last element in the tree, swapping it out with the element that you replace, that you're removing, and then doing the heapify downwards. Uh, for any of these uh, remove operations. So uh, if we're looking at uh, sort of the complexity analysis for any one of these operations, so something like adding to the heap, uh, well, you know, you'll only ever do uh, the number of operations necessary to, uh, to take the last element that you've added to the heap and then perhaps uh, moving it all the way up to the root if it ends up being the greatest item. So the, the number of operations you would ever do with adding to the heap is order log n. Uh, and same thing with uh, removing something from the root. With the priority queue, you have, this, again, the same basic idea of, of taking the thing, the last thing into the tree, putting it up at the root, and then having it heapify downwards. Um, so that would also be an order log n operation. And then removing any element from the heap also would have that same, um, that same complexity. So anyway, it ends up being a fairly uh, uh, straightforward and, uh, and, and efficient uh, algorithm. Uh, and then it, it's also uh, space efficient uh, because you're using an array. Um, so it has a, a number of uh, nice alternatives or, or advantages to it. Um, there's also a way to use uh, this type of uh, heap uh, approach for creating an ordered list uh, and uh, when we look at uh, sorting and searching we'll, we'll briefly discuss uh, this this algorithm but I want to show you just basically a, um, a uh, the basic idea of doing what's called a heap sort so um, so basically what you do is you arrange array elements to be sorted so that the elements are heaps so basically create a heap uh, there is a, an algorithm that's available for you know converting any arbitrary uh, array into a into a heap. But basically, let's assume that uh, that we have a heap already. And so basically, what you do to to sort these things in in ascending order rather than descending order is to swap the first element with the al last element of the array, um, so that the largest value is at the end of the array, and then pretend that the array is one element smaller. Um, and then just heapify downward from the root uh, as you would with uh, the normal algorithm. What that'll do then is make sure that the next greatest item is at the beginning of the array, and then you'll repeat this thing until, uh, until you're completely done so that uh, you have uh, a completely sorted list. So anyway, it's, a, it's an interesting way to um, sort elements, although it's, it's not the most efficient way to, to sort elements. Um, but anyway, so uh, that is uh, the idea behind heap sort. Anyway, we'll take a look at that later um, in the semester. That, that concludes this episode.